and welcome back to RC Icons. So in this video, a small buy-e box, some new tires from Marwan, and a channel shout-out from RC Birds. Dirk sent me a message looking for some channel stickers. I finally have channel stickers made. A couple thousand of them. <laughs> So, if you're a channel sticker guy, I know I already owe Adam and Thad and a couple of other people, uh, Luke, uh, I owe them stickers already, Trey, there's a bunch of you, uh, email me, keithmorenci8 at gmail.com, and I'll get you channel stickers. Actually, Trey, I already sent you one. <laughs> if you want another one, email me again, whatever, I don't care. I got enough to go around. So yeah, I finally got channel stickers made. And thank you, Dirk, for sending me yours. I'm going to do the sticker wall on the whiteboard off on the corner somewhere. Eventually, it's probably going to wrap all the way around, uh, which is cool. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I just don't know how it's going to react when it rolls up and rolls down. But we'll try it at the very least. So thank you, Dirk. And I'll get yours out to you as soon as I can. Um... I'm not the quickest when it comes to that kind of stuff. Let me bring the camera over. We'll get into this stuff. Marwan, square blocks. Giddy up. I'm going to compare a set with originals just so that you guys can see it. He did an awesome, awesome job. See you in a second. All right. RC Icons channel stickers. So that's what they look like. I've got enough to go around. Email me if you want a sticker, and I'll get some mailed out to you. Marwan. So Jason had put out a video a while back, kind of pushing, um, not in a bad way, Marwan to start doing the square block tires. They do the OT-66s, they do the OT-30s. The guy does an unbelievable job um, mimicking or recreating the old vintage Kyosho tires. So that's them. And they look awesome. So if you look at the writing, it says Bryce Stone instead of Bridgestone, but the font is absolutely right. The numbers on the side is right. And from afar, you can't tell the difference. He's only doing them in the wider width at the moment. Uh, I'm hoping he'll start doing them in the narrows as well. This is an original set of Kyosho narrows. Bridgestone. If you can see it on there. And when you look at the pattern, they're almost perfect. They are perfect. It's not even that they're almost perfect. So I bought I bought two sets. He sent me three. Uh, and I can't thank him enough. He didn't ask me to do a video. I just took it upon myself as a thank you to him. Um, to do a video. Part of this uh, is a thank you for sending me a free set of tires that I didn't ask for it and he didn't offer. Um, 60th mid. The real prototype had these on it. So that's why I bought one full set. I actually bought two full sets because I wanted some extras. These are originals. These are going on my Toms. And I showed you my Optima Mid SE that came in. I don't even know where that car is at the moment. Um, but I had bought an on by a couple months back an Optima Mid SE that had a full set of square blocks on it as well. Um, my mid has hot laps. I'm sorry. My Tom's has hot laps tires on it. It's got the correct wheels, the three piece yellow wheels, but it does not have the correct square block tires. It's got the hot laps square block tires. Um, and the rest of that car is absolutely mint. It's never been run. So I really wanted the correct tires on it. 
So I figured worst case I could use a set of these in the rears and the original fronts I have, but then I found that mid SE that had original square block tires on it that have not been run. So that is the plan now. I'm gonna rebuild that SE wherever it is. Like I said, I don't even know where it sits at this point. Um, and those tires will end up on my Toms. It's the whole point of buying a car. Buy e box. Now I this has been a long time. This was a long time ago. This box has been sitting in my studio for five or six weeks. I've been working on the track. I built a couple of 870Cs. Um, I just put it off to the side and kind of forgot about it. I do know there's one Kyosho vintage kit in here, um, but I don't remember what else. And I have at least this body set I have already the kit I'm saying I've got that body set from Tamiya so I'm not sure at this point if I'll build the kit when I show you it or if it's just gonna stay new in box I'll have to figure it out so we'll do the small stuff first so somebody was selling a ton of Kyosho old stock, new old stock parts. Sorry for the noise. On buy, and I got a little out of hand with buying some of it, but I didn't buy. There was a ton of it, chassis, like every part for the Optima and Optima Mid, all new old stock parts. So these, I wanted these because I've got. I've got the Lancia Delta Integral in electric. You see them all the time in nitro. The electric one is very, very hard to find. And I have one new in box. And these are the rally block tires from Kyosho from back in the day. Um, they're on an SE, Optima SE silver wheel. Not that I would keep them on that. They're not glued. But I, I got these cheap. They were like $14, I think. But it's the original Rally Block Kyosho tire. I bought them essentially for the tires. The wheels were just secondary. Um, the wheels are a little bit hammered. They're dulled. But they could probably be revived. I don't know why I bought it, but I bought it. So this is an original Optima driver figure. Cheap enough. I think I already have one of these. I'm pretty sure I do. Um, but I bought another one. Optima Mid SE chassis. Brand new. No scratches on it. Nothing. Not a mark on it. That's not an easy chassis to find brand new. Comes with the standoffs and all the screws. I like having vintage parts around. You never know what, to, what kind of build is around the corner. And then the SE that I bought for the square block tires, I could rebuild that car with that chassis and it would be mint. You know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with it. It's just a... The chassis just used and those chassis got scratched because there was no under trays motor collection so this is a super stock type rr i have a type r i think already or is it a type rr that i have already i already have this motor <laughs> well now i have two uh i love this motor because it's got the red end bell on it so maybe i'll send my other one to glenn because it's other things here for Glenn he put me on another little mission and I was able to pull it off really cheap so I did it and I still need to build this XMW and get that to him and this is kind of part of that mission so I you guys have already seen that I had sent him TRF tools 
well, I bought a bunch more specifically for, he needed the box wrenches and I have, I have box wrenches, um, but I bought some more. This was like a tool set that was for sale and there's a bunch of TRF tools in here. And it was, it was short money. I think it was $18 or something. It was, you know, they're not brand new, but I'll send him some of the, I have some nice ones that I don't really need to use, but he wants, so like those are box wrenches and then the other one would be this one. So he'll, he'll get these two. I'll keep this one and this one. This is the early style. It's a little beat up, but I actually use these, so I don't care. They're not display pieces really for me. And then a 1.5 and a 2. That was another brand new 2 that I just pulled out. That one's brand new. And then, like, some of mine are worn. And then one of mine has a Marlboro livery on it. Don't ask me why. This one. And it's not a sticker. Like... It's printed on there, <laughs> which kind of is like, huh? It's definitely, it's a world championship TRF with a Marlboro tag. <laughs> a little bit rare. So yeah, Glenn, these are here and I'll get them out to you. I don't know if he needs anything else as far as wrenches go, but some of this stuff is just cool to have. That's a driver of some sort. There's no bits for it. Little pry bar thing. Set of side cutters. Small ones. Yep, that was a lot. And then there's a ton of stuff here. There's like five envelopes here. Get this finished off before we get into the kit. I actually have... I took a long break from Bai about four weeks and then I just went ape shit. <laughs> uh, about a week and a half ago, you'll see the videos coming up here soon, but there's probably two or three big boxes coming in and one of them has three vintage Kyosho new in box kits and a Tomy new in box kit, which is just absolutely insane. And then I got some eighth scale cars coming in. So this is the 2011 Advanti Steering. So I had like, I don't know, three or four of these. And I sent one to Jason over at True Vintage. And this one came up. And I won it for short money. So it replaced the one I sent him. So now I have three or four still. Some of these parts you just can't find anymore. They're stupid expensive. So if I see them cheap on Bayi, I go after them. So like a, a new... Um, like a... a a TRF 201 front bulkhead. You can't find that parts tree to save your life. Um, and sometimes I'll find them on Bayi for 18 bucks. I buy them just to have them laying around. Yaw Racing TRF 501 aluminum steering set. 12, I don't know, 18 bucks. I've won that once already for like $34 and the guy canceled the sale. Apparently it wasn't enough for him. Well, that one I won even cheaper, so I'm glad he canceled the sale. Decals, I'm assuming. I don't even remember. Don't know. This cardboard. Oh, Kyosho Cuts. I love having these around for when I'm doing cars just because they never have enough on the decal sheets and usually the decal sheets are separate or different from the box art. So I ended up using on my Optima Mid Custom Special, I tore into Optima Pro decals, I tore in all kinds of decals just to get it as close as I could. So those are, it's cool to have those. Five or six more here. Envelopes, envelopes, envelopes. I don't even remember what this stuff is. Oh, this is another Optima new old stock chain. 
Uh, I hope it fits my Turbo Optima Riri. I'd like to build it with a chain. And the Riri Turbo Optima does not come with the chain. It gives you the diffs for a chain, but it does not give you the chain. Um, you have to buy the chain separate. The Javelin comes with the chain. I'm not sure what the Optima comes with. More Optima parts. If I can get it open. Steering. Servo saver for an Optima. Or Optima family. Told you I bought a bunch of Optima parts. More Kyosho parts. It's important for if you do restorations or rebuild cars to have parts, right? So arms, Optima arms, suspension shaft, pin set. It's all the pins. Original. OT11. Set of big bores. Jason at JRB Motorcycle needed a set of big bores. So I built them for him and I sent them to him. Although I didn't send him springs. He said he had springs though. Jason, if you need springs, let me know. I got a ton of them. I'll send you a set. So this just replaces the ones that I built and sent to him. They went to him with his 870C. Oh, another TRF wrench. New in the pack. Another 2 mil. 1.5. So a bunch of TRF wrenches in that box. And then last but not least... A while back, you guys saw me bring this in in a Tamiya new one box. No, nah, Tamiya body kit. Well, I won this. It was uh, it was like $174. I couldn't believe I won. Smell the age. box is perfect. Benton Ford F1. One tenth scale electric. So this isn't, I mean it's old but it's not like it's not like wicked old. It's not 80s old. Uh, give me a date. 4218 1992 So Ford Benton Newham box from 1992 I don't have many for um Kyosho F1, so I've got the McLaren MP5. I don't know that I have any others. To be honest, I can't remember. I know I've looked at a bunch of Kyosho F189s, but I, I haven't I haven't got one. So this one, I love the colors, the green and the yellow. And the box is absolutely perfect. And it was cheap enough where I was happy with it. So that's it. Let me move the camera over for a closing. That's gonna wrap this one up. Come out of there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, see you in a sec. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Like I always say. Only one kit, mild box, tons of parts, tons of vintage parts, love that stuff. Um, bunch of TRF tools get some stuff sent off to Glenn I will probably send him the RR motor um, just because I don't need two of them I think it was like 11 bucks buy it now it's like okay 
not a big deal. Um, but yeah, that should get him sorted out with his TRF tools, and now I've got more more than I know what to do with. I mean, I've got them brand new now, still sitting in packaging, so I'll probably keep buying them, though, because I'm an idiot like that, but it is what it is. If you're not already a subscriber, I'd ask you to consider subscribing to support my insanity. Email me, KeithMorenzi8 at gmail, if you want a channel sticker. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Leave a comment. Let me know how you're doing. <laughs> I'm going to go back to working on the track. That's what I've been up to. You guys will see those videos soon. Till then, we'll see you then. Thanks.